Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. Today's topic is going to be on data extracts and uh, refreshes and what's being refreshed when. I've uh, put, this, put this graphic together. On the left hand side are your data sources. This could be an Excel file, could be a PDF, could be a SQL Server, Google Analytics, whatever. And with Dab Tableau Desktop or Creator, you're going to create a workbook. Here are your two options in the upper right hand corner a live or an extract. Live data is going to be referencing the uh, underlying data sources themselves. It's a little bit of a misnomer for live and I'll show you why a little bit later in the, the video. Uh, the other option is to create an extract. This is going to basically be another copy of the, your, your data. Now if you have a if you only have one or two data sources, it might not be that big of a deal. But if you have multiple and have multiple joins, you're going to want to use an extract that will make uh, Tableau perform a lot faster. There are some formulas or functions that require an extract. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head, but if you run into that situation, uh, you'll know that by that point, you're probably already using an extract. Well, the other thing to keep in mind is if anybody wants to use your workbook, they have to have access to where this extract is stored, either on your, you know, your local drive or on a file server somewhere. So they have to have access to the data extract. When you're ready to publish, come under server, you have a publish workbook. Uh, and then you also have another option, publish data source. So there's two options here, publishing the workbook We'll make a copy of your workbook and it will contain all the underlying uh, the data it kind of contains like a packaged workbook out on the server or Tableau online, depending on what your company is using. Now, anybody that has access to Tableau server or Tableau online can go out there and access that workbook and do all the queries and actions and uh, dashboard interact with the data just like you would normally. Uh, like you would expect a viewer you they can't download it and create it. That can only be done here at this desktop and creator. The other option is you can have a the published data source. When you have a published data source, other people with the desktop and creator license can you now use this published data source that you have up on server and online. Okay, so there's a lot of talking about published and extracts and where this really becomes important is a change for a change in your underlying data source to take to be impacted here, you have to refresh your workbook and you have to recreate the extract if that's what you're using. If you want it to be published with the new update, you have to republish the workbook and you have to republish the published data source. So in theory, you could have a workbook that is from a week ago, was refreshed a week ago, you could have a workbook here on your desktop that was refreshed two days ago, and then you could have your underlying data, which has been refreshed today or you know last yesterday. Now let me show you something about the live data that's a little bit uh, confusing. Here I am, this is my data source. You can see here brands, type, everything here, Toyota. I'm gonna go to my underlying data source, this file here called cars, and I'm just going to change this from Toyota to Toyotas. I'm going to save the file. And now when you come here, you immediately think that, oh, it should be updated. Well, it's not. Now, what you need to do to refresh the data is select here. I'm going to close that first just to show you so we can do that. Refresh the data. And now you see Toyotas. Now, I'm going to show you this next thing. I'm going to come here and I'm going to change it back to Toyota. I'm going to save the file because you have to have the file saved, otherwise Tableau doesn't, I mean, you don't, the file's not saved and it's going off of the old version. Okay, so I've got the file is still open. Now when I go to refresh it, it's going to give me an error message because it can't read the file because somebody already has it open. So I'm going to select refresh unable to complete the action because the file is being used by another process. Go ahead and close that. It's going to give you problems here. And even when you come here and close it, and now the refresh is gone, 
Well, well, what you need to do is you're going to need to actually close it down, reopen, and then rerun it. I hope this gives you a little better idea of how data extracts and publishing to the server. Now, one thing that I have found is once you have a published data source, and if your workbook is connected to the published data source, there's not a real good, easy way to change it to another data source. So hopefully that helps. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check me out on Patreon.